Alright, all right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's just get right into it. I've seen a few things over the last couple of days where people were trying to figure out what is the best dribble pull-up. What's the best pull-up shot? All of that good stuff. I got you, my partner. I got you. Real quick video, and we're going to get right into it. I've tested out a lot of them um, over the years, and I found that the best three to choose from are the three that are as follows. The one that I use is normal four, so I feel like that's the best, obviously, but the two other ones that are really good are Athletic Two and Steph Curry. Now, the reason that I say Steph Curry is good is because with Steph Curry, you, you just shoot the ball. It's almost the same timing as your actual normal jump shot. So a lot of times you can, you just speed it up a little bit or you have to just shoot it just like your normal jump shot. It's really close. Uh, number two is Athletic 2. Athletic 2 is one that Hoodie Twan put me on to. Hoodie Twan last year was a two-way sharpshooter and all he shot was faders and he did not miss. Uh, one of the reasons that he told me is that it's just easy to time and also if you can't see your arms or your hands or anything you can look at his legs and you can kind of time it off of his legs or what have you and now uh, the one that i'm going to show you today is uh my personal favorite it's the one that darth fader t mizzle himself uses and that's uh normal four normal four for me is probably one of the most consistent um it, it's just the most consistent it gives you the most time to make adjustments it's the easiest to read and uh you can just you can just do you can just hit shots. Hey, and before we get into all of that, let me show you something real quick. One of my Instagram followers hit me up and he was talking about one of his, uh, he was talking about his jump shot. He said he used his jump shot, his base 20. And um, he was having some issues with it. He was saying, no matter what I put on, I put Hall of Fame, quick draw on and then all that good stuff. It's just not fast enough. Well, I concocted this jump shot for him. It's a secret jump shot. Uh, we used uh, jump shot 20 and we used my favorite releases, which are 134 and, uh, and 14. And we did an 80-20 blend toward 134 this time. So you can actually see it when the ball goes goes flat. The cue for this one is, I mean, this is a really smooth jump shot. It's a really good one. And uh, you can see when his hand goes flat, that's when you need to be releasing it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. That's a jump shot that we'll be using uh, today in tandem with what we're using as as far as, like I said, my favorite dribble pull up, my favorite uh, fading jump shot, all of that good stuff. Team Mizzle should be the probably, should probably do a, a video on this to show you guys how to shoot it. But there's no other way to get used to this stuff other than just good old practice, man. Like the first pull up, you, I gotta, I didn't expect that one. The main thing that you're gonna have to do when you when you shooting dribble pull ups, you got to, you're going to have to anticipate what shot you're going to get. So you know if you're going running straight to the corner, you know he's gonna fade, and so you guys, that's like a one two type of type of deal. But what I'm expecting him to do is, I'm expecting him to shoot that one. That's the I missed the green. I missed the green, bro. Anyway, look, <laughs> that's the one that I was expecting him to do. This is the one that you're gonna get if you're fading away from the corner, and uh, if you're fading across the key, uh, that's the one that you're gonna get. Like I said, this jump shot is really smooth with this one because what you do is when his hand goes flat, that's when you, that's when you can release it. Nine times out of ten you're going to hit the shot. But like I said, you're going to have to come in. No, no, there's no dribble pull up that's going to keep you from having to practice. You're gonna have to come in here, get the timing, practice, get your badges, and uh, you're just going to have to shoot them over and over and over again. I asked TT, how did you get that good? He said he actually came in, he came into here, put it on Hall of Fame. I, I never fade this way anyway. He came in here, put it on Hall of Fame, and uh, just shot over and over until he got the timing down. And once you get the timing down, like I said, there's there's gonna be there's gonna be a few different timings um, that you're gonna have to get down. You gotta get the timing at the top of the key. You gotta get the timing the timing down, fading toward the corners, and you're gonna have to get the timing down on the actual pull-ups. Um, the pull-ups, like I said, they are uh, they are significantly quicker. You see how they say it's slightly late? They are significantly quicker when you get those animations. So normally when you get, as soon as you see that you got that animation, you probably got to come off of it. But uh, they, they they just seem to be significantly quicker. 
uh, if you if you're getting the fade animations like those uh, you're gonna make them but like I said there's nothing that's gonna save you um, from having to practice and I, I shot that early there's nothing that's going to save you from from having to practice and come in here and just do it there's not a jump shot or or a dribble pull up that's gonna just be like hey uh, what can I just pull on and I'm just gonna automatically hit them that jump shot doesn't exist you're just gonna have to come in uh, practice Get the timing down. If you gotta go one, two, one, two, I'll do all of those things first until you get it burned into your mind as muscle memory. Once you get it burned into your mind as muscle memory, um, you'll be good to go. And uh, obviously, when you're shooting here, you don't have badges. Once you get in the game and you got badges and you got your timing down, you got dimer, you got all that other stuff, you'll be a lot better off. But like, let me tell you what, this jump shot that I'm using along with this, um, this might be my actual jump shot for for a good while. So make sure you guys put this jump shot on Let me know if it works for you and uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time It's your boy Jay Easy, aka fresh from the barbershop BK the people's champ Holla y'all can't tell me this jump shot is smooth if this jump shot is smooth put smooth in the chat If it's green put green in the chat if you tested it out and let me know just let me know But like I said practice 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 do what you got to do Godspeed